Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at the SGI booth at SC14 in New Orleans, and I'm here with Brian Fried. How are you doing today, sir? Very well, thank you. Well, great, great. Well, you know, I thought we'd get a little acquainted with this new device here, the UV300, and learn what's up. Absolutely. So this is the, the UV300. It, it's the, the follow-on. It's our third generation x86 scale-up solution. But it, it really is a departure from our historic um, x86 scale-up solutions that it's focused on I.O. Um, versus compute power. So its predecessor was designed to scale compute to the max, so 256 sockets in a single Linux instance. Um, this one's designed to you know, give you much more I.O. So we've tripled the I.O. per socket from 8 DIMMs per socket to 24. Uh, and we've also improved the, the point to point connectivity so that it's all to all connected from 4 to 32 sockets to give the lowest possible latency between any two sockets. So um, it's built in four socket chassis, so from any four socket chassis to any other four socket chassis in this rack um, is less than 500 nanoseconds of latency. Wow. Okay. Okay. So what kind of jobs would shine in, in this kind of architecture? So, you know, one of the jobs that shines is SAP HANA. So we, we won an award um, for your know, best use of HPC in the commercial space with our, our SAP HANA box. And it, it is built on this platform, the UV300. Um, but in addition, there's a, a number of more traditional HPC codes. So, you know, we're really excited about opportunities around graph analytics. Um, you know, some electromagnetic simulations look really promising on this solution. Um, in addition, when we look at the, the big data space, one of the trends we see is a desire to combine applications. So instead of thinking of just one application running on this box, you know, it's scenarios where they combine multiple applications. So things like search, semantic analysis, text analytics, um, geospatial and graph, all into a single application. So, you know, solving problems using multiple applications, each accessing the same data. So, well, it, it does it retain the, the goodness of the UV that I know, which is the, the single system image, right? That was, it, the, that was the juice of the first ones, right? It does. It retains the single system image, which is, is really core to UV. Yeah. Um, and, and, but it brings a, a, a tremendous amount of, of new flexibility and, and new application use cases given the, the I.O. That, that it delivers. The, the other thing that we're demoing today um, and you know, there's there's a number of use cases we can think of, and, and we expect there's going to be more evolved. Is you know, we're demoing a, a solution that uses um, Intel PCIe um, NVM RAM. So this is the the Intel um, P3700, okay. and in a 32 socket UV that's in our lab in Chippewa Falls, we have 64 of these plugged into the PCI slot. Okay. Um, it delivers 128 terabytes of PCI-based flash storage. Um, 30 million IOPS, so probably the, the most powerful machine in terms of IOPS in the world, um, and about 200 gigabytes per second. Um, so a tremendously powerful um, solution from a storage perspective. And, and I guess the question you'd ask is, what would you use all that for? And there, there's really two things. I think first is, um, you could use it for you know, warm data. So not everything needs to be in the, the DRAM. So it's still got 24 terabytes of DRAM, um, but now you can have that 24 terabytes of DRAM augmented by another 128 terabytes of flash that, that's very near to you, yes. so near line flash. Yes. Um, the second thing it does is it allows you to cycle models quicker. So when you think of one of the challenges of, of modeling, oftentimes the, the setup, getting the data into the system um, into memory takes more time than actually process it. And in this case, you, you have the data you know, sitting there hot standby in flash and you can bring it in and cycle through the processes much more rapidly. Well, it sounds like a big data monster to me. Would that be a good characterization, you think? A absolutely. <laughs> we, we do believe it is a big data monster um, and, and see you know, many applications for it, both in the HPC as well as the commercial space.